The third type of modulator is called the switching modulator. And the switching modulator, it's a fantastic idea. Any periodic function can be expressed as series of cosines for the series. So recall that any periodic function, so this theta is periodic, it's in fact made of or can be represented in a Fourier series. And recall that inside the Fourier series we have the cosine of multiple frequencies. So I will take the message, instead of multiplying by cosine, we can multiply by any periodic function. And then we can use a bandpass filter to pick the frequency of interest. So here is the signal to be multiplied by cosine. We're saying don't multiply by cosine, multiply by anything. Okay, that's periodic. And then this red part is equivalent to this Fourier series. Using the low-pass filter, we can pick one of these cosines. So the spectrum of M of F is now shifted to all different frequencies. And then with the use of double sideband or double the bandwidth of, of, of filter, we can get the signal of interest. Now, the logical question would be, did we make things worse? Because our objective was to multiply theta by a cosine. And now we want to multiply theta by a periodic signal, by a periodic signal. So how do we multiply by a periodic signal? We can note here that multiplying by a train of pulses is not difficult because a train of pulses is either zero or one, or positive or negative. We can have a switch, and this switch would work as, the switch will work as a multiplier. So let's take it one step at a time. So this is a message we would like to multiply by the square wave. The message has the following free transform. Okay, if we multiply, this message is either 0 or 1. W is either 0 or 1. Okay, in Fourier format, it can be represented as 1 half, which is the average value. Let's say this is 0, this is 1. So the average value is half, assuming we have equal width. Now, how do you multiply this by that? Uh, okay, if you take the math here, multiply, and then you get the following shape. You get your original signal, okay, either it passes or zero. Whenever we have one, you get the original signal or nothing. So this is the result of the multiplication. What is the spectrum of this multiplication? What's the spectrum of the signal as compared to the signal? Okay, it's going to be shifted, the original spectrum, okay shifted to cosine, shifted to 3 cosine, and we have different images to the right and to the left of the spectrum. Now, if you just want the product, we can use a band bus filter here around the frequency of interest. And this shape at the output of the band bus filter will be the original signal multiplied by cosine. Remember, how do we, how do we sketch a signal multiplied by cosine? We get the positive speaks of the positive, uh, so we get the positive trace of the envelope, then we get the negative image of that, and then we fill with a cosine. Switching modulators. We will start with the bridge modulator, with the bridge diode, or the diode bridge. So the diode bridge electronic circuit consists of four diodes. We're going to put the carrier here. The carrier is going to control the polarity of the diodes. Remember, a diode will be short circuit if it's forward biased or open circuit if it's reverse biased. So when the, when the carrier is in the positive cycle, okay, we get it positive, negative. And which one of these diodes are going to connect? D1, D2, D3, or D4? Which one? The answer is all of them. All of them are going to be forward bias. So this is this switch is going to work as a short circuit. Now, in the second cycle, in the negative cycle, we are, when we are here, the polarity is reversed. We get here positive and negative here. And then all the diodes are going to be disconnected. We can take this switch and connect it with a circuit, either in parallel, like in this case, here is the message, assumed to be current source. We can connect this in parallel. And if it's short circuit, no current will flow. So the current will flow inside. Or if it's open circuit, the current will flow. We can also connect this in series, okay. assuming the message is like a voltage uh, source. Okay. And we can control the message. 
these two circuits shows you the diode bridge operation here when it works like an open circuit and here when it's connected as a short circuit the entire bridge will look like an open or short circuit okay now this is the switching function now let's uh, look at the second type of uh, switching modulators we have the ring you can see that uh, we have the shape of connection is now different and uh, the carrier is connected this way and we can see here that uh, we can have two scenarios if this is positive okay if the polarity if the, if the cosine is in the positive cycle okay like here in the positive cycle this is going to be positive this is going to be negative which means d1 and d3 are going to connect in the negative cycle okay so we get we get the signal from a to go to c b to d but in the negative cycle uh, these d1 and d2 uh, diodes are going to <coughs> switch off and d2 and d4 are going to connect which flips the sign of the output so to see this the input signal this is the function of this uh, modulator ring modulator notice the difference here before we want we were multiplying by either 0 or 1 okay now this has plus or minus so the average equal to 0 the average term will go out so in fact the in fact the Fourier series expansion does not contain the one half first term we have removed this by the ring modulator so now the output is like multiplying the output of the, of the entire thing here is like multiplying the message by uh, the Fourier series and we can get uh, the following terms the product and high frequency terms using a bandpass filter at the right frequency we get the signal of interest we call this the double balance modulator so in time this this is how the signal look like after the multiplication before the bandpass filter and at the output of the bandpass filter we get pure sinusoidal signal here it's square like and that's uh, pure sinusoidal 